And welcome back. This is Bella Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Mr. Potato Head. He is number one in his silver division with 427 wins and 443 losses with 2,282 points. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Red Terran in the Northwest up against Mr. Potato Head. That is a good name. Probably one of the best. Protoss names I've heard, usually the Protoss are, or usually the good names are exclusively Zerg territory. He is the blue Protoss in the southwest. The, I th don't know if I said that already. His, the map is Jungle Basin, which I'm not that big of a fan of, I'll be honest with you, because I don't know. I just don't do well on it, I guess. I, I haven't figured out a, a real reason why. And he's going for an early scout here? No. Oh, what is this? He went straight into my expansion, and instantly his first pylon is up there. Oh, this is not going to be fun. Oh, this is bad. And boom, he wants to have a conversation. It's a trap! I had to say it. Um, yeah, he asked if I have a nice Christmas takes me a while to respond. I'm like, yeah, it was long, though. I think you guys can read, though. He's getting the gateway. He's pretty much typing while he's not going to, uh... in between him building stuff. So I'm going into his base, and I should notice that there's absolutely nothing here. And here I'm going, what the hell? Where'd that probe come from? So I'm looking around and I don't see anything. And I'm thinking, oh my gosh, what the hell? What, what's going on? He's actually pretty much stopped producing the probes here. He stopped at 11, it looks like. Oh, uh, yeah, that was Krobosting going down on the Zealot over here. So I'm not sure what to think, and I can tell you that what I wasn't thinking is that he had built his entire base in my expansion, pretty much. Two pylons, two gateways, up comes the first zealot, and I am screwed, and I had no okay Christmas. I think he's just trying to distract me. Get him, SCV! Oh, you suck, SCV. You need to pick up a gun sometime. So I'm sending everybody I have down there. It worked for me last game. Hope you guys uh, watched that last game. It was, I thought, a great game. But I'm able to take out that, that first zealot. So I'm like, okay, he's got nothing. He's got nothing. But really, it's about even. Because he took out some of my SCVs. And up comes the next zealot. Able to get a couple pot chops on it. I don't kite the zealot at all. And therefore, he's able to take me out pretty dang easily. Up comes the second zealot. And I'm going to start building bunkers. Because it's pretty much all I can do. And I, I can't get a full block off there, so I'm going for three of them. Once again, sending all my SCVs out. Kind of, yeah, see, there we go. These SCVs are tanking for the DPS of my marine, and that's what I wanted them to do. Sending another SCV out to finish off the block off. This zealot will never, ever get through that. Getting two marines in there. Should be well enough to finish this off, but already he's taken a huge lead in the units lost count 200 at this point and now he has the lead in harvesters too just getting minerals not getting any gas i hopefully yes i took all my guys off gas but really the damage is done and it's just a matter of time now need to keep a better eye on what's going on in the game that's the moral of this game right now uh he's He's up to 15, and boom, he starts building in his base because he's scared that once I have this completely blocked off, I'm going to go in, 
to his base. And let me tell you, I was definitely thinking about that right now. I'm like, okay, he can't do anything here. It'll take him forever uh, to to get enough resources to, to to bust down just these three bunkers. Really, he only needs to get one of them, but only one of them is full here. And he's taking down the rocks here in case he wants reinforcements. So I'm saying one marine. One marine down. I figure that's all I can afford. He's got three gateways coming up there inside his base. Oh, no, sorry, two and a cybernetics core. That is a cybernetics core right there. He's, so, in terms of army, he still has the lead because zealots are more expensive. So I'm coming in and I see the one pylon, so I'm trying to take it out. That one marine is going to take all these probes on. I don't think he can do it. He, and he dies to Taser. So I took all these guys out and I'm like, Ah, oh, yes, this is now my time to attack. So, attack. Go. But I don't realize there's two, stock, two zealots down here. So I'm going for everything I can. I should be focusing down these pylons, but really, I, I, I just die. These guys will all die. I don't even kill one of them. And he doesn't realize it, but I only have one Marine in a bunker, and the block off is gone. But now he's starting to get Stalkers. He's starting to get a little bit faster, uh, faster output now. He did get the gas, and he's going for the Warp Gate technology. It takes forever, though. So pretty soon he'll be able to warp everything that he has in here instead of just producing out of these two gateways. I am going for two additional barracks. I... Oh, no. Don't, don't. No. I'm going down and I might be able to take out one of those guys. But what was I thinking? Three marines to take out two zealots. I think that I was thinking that I had done more damage to these guys than I actually did. And that the, the the energy, what do you call it, the shields, didn't re... Wow, what am I trying to say here? Whatever it is, I'm failing at it. The shields didn't recharge as fast as they actually do. See, this guy's already back up to 20 out of 50. He poked up here to see what was going on. I still have one guy in a bunker, and that scared him off enough. He's going to finish off these rocks, though. Everything is now a warp gate, it looks like. No, these two are still gateways. Don't know why he hasn't morphed them yet. And here, I went for pretty much for three racks. This is That was my intention, because I wanted to get the marauders out so I can get the slow on them. That's, I'm researching the slow. Now going for two additional ones, so I, I'm going for a five racks here. Meanwhile, he is pushing all his units around the outside. Looks like he's going to be joining everything here. Still haven't done any damage to any of these buildings because the shields did recharge. Looking at the army count, he's got a massive lead. But I'm still the one going for the attack. And horrible timing just as these stalkers and zealots are coming in. And he can easily take those out. Now seeing that there's warp gate technology with the stalkers. And I know that it is game over for me. There's absolutely nothing I can do. But I don't like to give up easily to people that do cheese like this. So what do I do? Uh, make him go in my base, then I GG. And that's the game. Usually I'll make him kill off all my all my SUVs, take him off the line, and attack here, because really this was pretty cheesy, but I felt that since I had blocked it off for so long that he did do some work to, to earn that victory, and he did. You know, he got the, the second and third and fourth <laughs> barracks. Well, barracks, I say. They're gateways and warp gates. What the hell? You can you can do that. That's crazy. 
A double rally point. So this was an interesting strategy, something I had never seen before. My part, my end was horrible. You know, I still have 300 minerals. I should have nothing. I, I It was not my best game, I'll admit that, but this was definitely a new strategy. Uh, proxy base. <laughs> Let's face it. Uh, not just a proxy pylon, but proxy gateways, proxy zealots, proxy everything. He had a whole base out here. Uh, he could have easily built a nexus and just started mining if he had the mine to. So a new strategy. It was very effective. I actually saw this twice today from two different Protoss players on Jungle Basin. That might be why I don't like Jungle Basin. Of course, the other guy built them here. He built the proxy stuff here, took out the rocks, and then just started charging in my base. Really, I should have taken these guys off gas. I mean, there, there was definitely some stuff that I could have done to prevent this, but really the first thing that first and foremost thing that you want to do is before you go for the scout out here, go for the scout inside your base to make sure that there's nothing going on like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game. hope you laughed. hope you learned. hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.